a lot of people think, they hear palliative care and they think, oh, you're gonna give me morphine and I'm gonna die. It's not that at all. Any, it, it has never been and it never will be. People think that pain is a part of the dying experience. And um, no, pain is not a, a compulsory part of the experience. Lots of people don't experience pain. They often kind of, patients will marvel with me, go, oh, I don't have any pain. And it's like, no, you, and you may not, you may never experience pain, but they may have constipation or they may have nausea or something else that's tr troubling them. It's the stigma, it's the death, it's the, it's the, the way society looks at things. Palliative care can be a long process. Palliative care is when we take out that active treatment. It's not just that sort of day or two before someone's gonna pass away. The evidence is that patients who receive palliative care have a better quality of life and actually live longer with palliative care than they do without. So it's a constant variable thing that we assess, we monitor and make a decision on what's happening at that time or with that person or with the symptom or, or whatever's needed at that stage. I often hear patients tell me this has been a gift, you know, that this has been, this is what life's really all about and I hadn't realised until now and then it's about family and it's about stopping and smelling the roses and it's about reading that book that I wanted to read. It's about drinking that really good bowl of red that I've had stored away and, you know, really kind of um, reveling in what life has to offer and the beauty and the peace that's around them. We understand that good care is making sure that people get to decide what they want to do with their life and we're trying to make sure that we can provide that with their dying process as well. They say this is home. A lot of them, majority of them want to be at home. They want to be with people that know them. They want to be surrounded by their bits and pieces and they want to have their family here. Some of them want to have a drink. Some of them want to have, you know, um, all their grandchildren around them. Some of them want to have certain music playing or Whatever it is, we just we try to think outside the square and be able to yeah provide them with what they want. Some people die very easily, you know. There's they're frail or they're older or there's a relinquishment that just happens naturally and they just fall asleep and and drift away like that. So it doesn't have to be all very dramatic and catastrophic and um, bells and whistles and things like that. It can just be a very quiet time of of um, slipping away. That's what mostly happens to people. For, for you to see someone that you care about happy and at peace and pain free and where they want to be, that's, that's pretty, a pretty good outcome. I think remembering that palliative care is about living well and supporting quality of life. Um, it's not only at the point of death that it has um, any value, it's, it's way before that.